A region bound by common language and folklore, known in the past as Mithila, or Madhubani, meaning honey forest, today spans portions of northern India and eastern Nepal. Historically, this region has been regarded as the land of the goddess Sita, divine heroine of the Hindu epic tale, the Ramayan. Over the years, the villagers of Mithila developed a distinctive form of folk painting on the walls and floors of their village homes. This painting has special significance for women and women's readiness for marriage. During the drought in the 1960s, famine relief workers arrived in Mithila and recognized the paintings for their income earning potential. They urged the villagers to make their wall and floor paintings on large pieces of heavy handmade paper that could be sold commercially. Since then, the lives of the villagers, and especially of the village painters, have been changed. All five village painters we are about to meet follow the main conventions of Mithila painting. Within these main conventions, certain castes follow their own traditions, and each painter has favorite themes and stories, and paints them in unique, individual styles and colors. <laughs> of all the Mithila painters, the Mahapatra Brahman widow, Sita Devi, is the one most widely recognized outside in the rest of India. For the past 12 years, she has spent about half her time painting in Delhi. Once great palaces, like that of Rajnagar, now in ruins near Sita Devi's village, patronized the arts. Today, it is often luxury hotels, like the Akbar in Delhi, that serve that function and supplement the income Mithila painters earn through their Master Craftsmen's Association and their many buyers in India and around the world. In December 1981, Sita Devi and her son and helper, Surya Dev, were visiting the Akbar Hotel's Madhuban room, which is adorned with their painting. So what are the subjects of the paintings here in the Madhuban room? There are ten boards depicting ten deities. Here are ten other boards depicting flowers. Another ten boards depict animals, though not all were installed here. And what is this picture? It is a picture of Adhanarishvara, a divine half-woman, half-man. This is the deity that has rewarded our hard work. We people have also undergone long periods of self-denial and discipline. This is how prosperity has come to us. Today our painting has given our children an education and has brought us some financial security. The more I concentrate on my painting, the more I am rewarded.